So I recently went on vacation. Last cup, I talked about it and brought a few consoles. But there's one in particular that I brought that I thought I was going to use more, my Xbox. I mentioned off the cuff that I had the upspec gaming monitor, the X screen. I want to show it a little bit and be really transparent about that product because I've used it quite a bit over the past couple of years and uh, I've worked with those guys before. Before we do that, um, let's see, what are we using today? Because I got to take some mice out three. So that's going to be the second cup. We're going to take out five pieces of ice because I already pre weighed this. So that's five. Today is iced coffee. Just not feeling the hot coffee today. It's hot already, so let's uh, let's get the iced coffee brewing and going and talk about this monitor, but also the Xbox in general because the Steam Deck I've talked about quite a bit and I'm gonna keep talking about it because it is uh, my pride and joy right now, but the Steam Deck has transformed the way that I game. I've been reading through the comments and someone said, you know, can't take this guy seriously, he's all over the place. Obviously they don't have kids. It's funny what happens in life when you have kids, if I may. Um, kids can drastically change the way that you look at the world. You can also drastically change the way that you interact with anything that you cared for or loved before you had kids. You see, they have the ability to completely reorganize, reprioritize, and in some ways rob you <laughs> of any sense of individuality that you may have had. Before I had kids, I did things a very specific way. I played games a very specific way. I was able to uh, enjoy different things a very specific way. And that's because I had a lot more freedom. And now that I have kids, I don't quite have that freedom that I used to have. And I no longer have the desire for that separation. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's important to have some alone time so you can think, but not as much as one might think. So as I said, we're doing iced coffee today. This is the smallest container I could find um, because the one that I usually use is being used for chicken stock. We made chicken stock at home and, you know, kind of got to need it. So I went on vacation to see my fast friend, best friend. Isn't it crazy? How you can just make friends with someone and then you're just like hey you like this yeah me too hey you like this yeah me too but then you like are like hey do you feel this way yeah i feel that too hey do you have these kinds of insecurities and these kinds of anxieties yeah i do well i do too i think that's really what made my um very very close if not best friend and brother uh made us so quickly quickly so f such friends so quickly is it's not that we both have a, you know, a nerdy knowledge of all things gaming and that we both are the same age and we both listen to the same type of music growing up, but it's that we both worry about the same things and we both have the same anxieties and fears and we both are just trying to figure out the best way to be the best fathers that we can so that we can give our kids better lives than we had, right? Not that we had bad lives, but we just always want our kids to have better ones. And so that's really what made us <laughs> such close friends so fast and you know if you have anyone in your life that you can share real experiences with or just share your insecurities with that's a friend um, keep them close it's important especially if you're a dad I mean most of you guys are dads but if you're a dad and there's another dad out there that you can be like I feel insecure about this that's great Right? I think it's important, this is not what I was planning on talking about, but maybe today this is what we talk about. I think it's important for dads to be able to um, have other dads out there to just be like, yo, dude, I'm not doing this right. And for them to be like, yo, you're doing fine, bro. You're doing great. Because that is really one thing that a lot of us dads feel is like, oh, man, am I just doing this right? And so some of the pressures and some of the anxieties that happen is one, you don't feel like you can talk about that, which you can, and you should with other dads, you should be able to look at another father and be like, Hey man, I need a little bit of help, you know, in this thing, in this little brain of mine. Well, that's okay. That's totally okay. But also as fathers, we strive to be more present and to be more plugged in with our children, especially um, nowadays where there's such a huge disconnect between the personal connection that we find or found back when we were children. And, um, the disconnect that happens because of the constant bombardment of media. 
And so when it comes to video games, it's very easy to disassociate and detach because of just the location, whether your gaming system is in your room, in your office, or in your living room, it just is really easy to detach. So I am someone who, because of the way that my things are set up, has all my gaming in a separate room than what my family hangs out in. And I'm like, man, I don't like that I'm tied to this little location. So the first thing that I really was interested in was this, the X screen by Upspec Gaming, because I found this to be a really cool product. It capitalized, okay, this thing is impossible to take out, so I'm just ripping this. I'm just, I can't, this, this sleeve is so tight. So bye-bye sleeve. Ugh. Waste of sleep. Um, I really liked the way that this thing was designed. Okay, so let's first open it up so you can see. This one is my old monitor that I had. And as you can see from the top down view, uh, it's black, even though my old one was white. Mm, very, very good at your observation, long time viewer. Um, let me show you. I was sent by them some very, very cool things called stickers, others call them decals. And these stickers slash decals go onto the device itself, as you can see. And it transforms it from a white piece, which was right here, to a black piece if you have the new and improved Black Series S, which I do. If you already had this and you upgraded the Black Series S, this might be a good choice for you. And I thought, hey, that's cool. And they said, hey, can you try to install this for us and show everybody to see how it looks? And I was like, yeah, I can. I don't think I did a fantastic job. I, I, I did a better job than I was expecting, but it, you know, it, it looks okay, right? It looks okay. But what they did was they sent me their new version of it, which you can buy that too. And if you haven't purchased one of these and you're looking to look at one of these, um, or if you've been looking at some sort of one like this, this is the one I recommend. I've gotten two, three, three different ones, three paid for none of them. Okay. And if this is where the, the candid behavior happens, if I was to be asked to pay for any of these, I wouldn't for one very, very specific reason. And this past vacation kind of solidified that reason. That is, I don't play my Xbox. You see, I went on vacation and brought my Xbox with me because I thought I am going to play this thing with my friend and his family. And when I got there, we started playing video games on his couch where his family was both children and stuff and we're all there just having a good time playing video games they have their switches wife she's playing playstation on the tv kids are playing you know the switch watching ipad having fun coloring we can stop and play basketball whatever we're having a good time and then the thought of going into the office and secluding and isolating ourselves from everybody really wasn't exciting now my buddy he had to i didn't have to because i had this thing this is the whole setup, the whole shebang. I brought this with me in my suitcase. I decided to not bring the case itself because it took up too much space. This is sold separately, but this is the whole kit and caboodle. I have an extended 12 foot cable that I purchased because this is really what lets it be a little bit more mobile. Comes with a little, you know, you have your controller, it doesn't come with it, everything there. But then you have the whole device itself, which I thought was amazing. Now this is the black one, so it looks good. Pretty awesome. And this is super rad. It's 60 Hertz, not 120. I have the 120 Hertz one from a different company, but because it's so power hungry, uh, it, it requires its own power source. So you have to plug that into the wall as well. Whereas this uses the power of this Series S and this is designed for Xbox. In fact, on the paper that I ripped up, you can see right here, it's designed for Xbox. They, The white one I had was before they even got that little stamp. It's a great little machine, 60 Hertz, 1080p. You're gonna have a good time. Is it the best gaming experience you can get with your Xbox Series S? No, of course not. The best gaming experience you can get is probably plugged into either a TV or a monitor and you know, high refresh rate maybe or something else. But this is an awesome stopgap between the portability that would exist with something like an Asus ROG with Game Pass and having yourself stuck in front of a TV. You can take this into another room if you want and just be a part of the livelihood of the house. And that's precisely what I want right now. That's precisely it. And so this setup, the X screen, I think is the most tremendous product. Again, it's not just because they sent it to me. I have other better on paper products, but it is because 
I think that the compact nature of it paired with the necessity, right? Which is I wanna play on the go in the smallest form factor possible. All of that comes together and just works really, really well. I do love this thing. I just don't use it. And if I can be frank with you guys and be candid, oh, I'm not Frank, right? Henry, I get it, I'm not Frank. Larry, take it easy. Bring them back, guys. Henry right here, Henry, the pretend <laughs> bamboo tree. Is that bamboo? And then Larry the lamp. I love that product, it's cool. I'm looking at it, I don't use it. Am I gonna sell it? I don't know. I seem to do stuff like that a lot, but I had this apostrophe, which I've said this reference before, and if you know the reference, let me know in the comments. Lightning bolt just struck my brain. One of the greatest movies of all time. Incredible. Um, I had this epiphany and it was that I just don't want to play games in my bunker, in my, in my little secluded cave if I don't have to. And something like the Xbox, I don't have to because every single game that I would play on the Xbox is available to me on my Steam Deck. And so the Steam Deck has like, without me knowing, completely changed the way that I interact with gaming. And it's because of one very specific reason. And again, this is addressing and talking to all of you out there who like to note that I change my mind all the time. I do. I do indeed change all my mind, my mind quite a bit. But that's because I'm trying to figure out what the best way, what the best absolute way for me to maintain a hobby that refreshes me and makes me able to wake up the next day and have enough energy to get through another 12 to 14 hours with two kids under four years old and be present and excited and and very loving to these children that I have as well as maintain this hobby that I love which is video games because when you become a parent you realize that everything that you have you need to lay out there and just be willing to sacrifice and give away and I do, and I have, and I will, and I will always. I will give anything. I will give my life for my children. It's also really important that as a father, there are moments in which you get to have something that you're working on, right? I know video games seem like a kind of a weird thing. Like, why can't you do something more productive? Why can't you read a book? Because I don't like to read books. Well, why can't you work on, you know, like woodworking? I don't know how to woodwork. Why didn't you pour into something more productive? Well, let me ask you this, internet. What's more productive than raising kin? I, I don't know. I don't know if there is something more productive than raising kin. Why don't you work on something that's making you more money? I surely hope that this one day would make me enough money to provide for my family in a way that creates some sort of abundance so that we can donate and give to other people. That'd be incredible. We're not there quite yet, but um, gaming for me is allowing me to stop, refresh, and have moments in which I'm like, oh, cool, this is for me. and. I also wanna make sure that I'm being responsible when I do that sort of thing. And I had a comment saying that they don't like this channel because I talk about myself quite a bit. It sounds narcissistic. And uh, <laughs> I hope that they decide to watch this video so I can, I, I can address that. Um, yeah, I'm the only one who has examples that I can give about what I'm doing. This is about my journey. This is me sharing, this is kind of like a video journal. I think I told you guys this back in November. This is a journidio? Vernial? Vernial? Vernial sounds gross. Video journal. Journio. Journio. This is a journio. <laughs> a, a vloggle? A vloggle? A blog, a video blog journal? A vloggirl? No. Not that. You guys help me with the video vlog for the video journal. This is me trying to figure it out for all the dads out there and, and, and experiment this, that, and the other. But the reason why my mind changes, the reason why stuff focus changes is because for those of you dads out there, you kind of understand when you're trying to just hold on for dear life, sometimes the very thing that you thought was the thing that's going to carry you through breaks. And you're like, oh, this isn't gonna work. So I need to reach for the next peg. And that next peg is because every peg is holding on for dear life, the greatest thing that exists to me right now, because it is the only thing keeping me afloat. Snap, oh, grab the next peg and the journey continues. And so when it comes to 
tech stuff and different um, gaming ways or ways to game or however, the one constant that I think we all can lock in is flexible location gaming, flexi lock gaming. That is true. And that that's pretty simple, right? Granted, I am going to be slammed, not slammed, weird. I am going to be parked at my gaming desk during the odd hours of 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. and 7 or 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. playing the game I've been waiting for for the past year and a half. That is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. After playing through Remake, then immediately after Crisis Core, and now immediately after Rebirth, I am so excited to continue through my journey in Midgar. Mm -hmm. Technically leaving Midgar now, but you guys understand what I'm saying. When I was in my buddy's state and hanging out there, the epiphany that struck me was I am able to continue pursuing this hobby aggressively and responsive, responsively, responsibly, only if location is not the thing that is dictating the gaming experience. As long as I am able to go from room to room and enjoy the game, I am able to continue doing this. Because the second, the moment I have to shut a door and say, it's over, can't do this anymore, we can't, you know, I lose interest. I realize that with a lot of things. The Xbox, unfortunately, becomes a wild redundancy for someone like me who uses a Steam Deck. And the Steam Deck, because of how old Nintendo Switch is, and how little Nintendo has on the horizon as of right now, and how much is up in the air when it comes to all the rumors, which I don't care about rumors, and I am not gonna stick around and wait for the next thing and try to like bait and switch you with, oh, this is, I don't care, dude. All I care about is playing games. It's why the whole branding of this channel is play. This is what we do. We play games. And so this very thing, if you're about traveling around with an Xbox and you want to look for something that can go from room to room and you have the screen can like attached to it and the Series S is your, is your go-to, X screen is more than worth it. More than worth it. And a huge shout out to those guys. It's cool to see that two dudes, I believe they're from Australia, I think I'm correct there, started this company and now are working with Xbox and have gotten the design for Xbox thing. I mean, if you switch it, a setting in there to like, I think it's CEC, whatever like you, the, thing, the setting is when you turn on your Xbox, it turns on your TV, you turn off your TV, it turns off your Xbox. When you close the lid, it turns off your Xbox to make sure that it preserves and saves it and there's no issue with the vent being blocked. I don't recommend you do that and rely on that, but it does it. This thing is designed for the Xbox Series S. Not just an accessory, not just a portable HDMI accessory. No, this is specifically designed for the Xbox Series S, which is super cool. But what that first introduced me to was the idea of flexible location gaming. I could take my Xbox in the living room while my eight month old is, old is crawling around and throwing as many of his weird plushy toys and to his mouth. And then my toddler is playing with her puzzles and coloring. I can sit there next to them and I can play my video games. But then the Steam Deck was introduced to me and I realized there is nothing on the Xbox that I can do that the Steam Deck doesn't do. And I know what you're gonna say, better frame rates, better resolution. Handheld, bro, handheld. The handheld gaming experience that is available to me is unmatched and I just, I can't live without it. I can't live without it. This past trip, five days, four days, four or five days of me playing the Steam Deck locked it in. I would sacrifice every single game's fidelity to play it on the Steam Deck. I would play Rebirth on the Steam Deck. I would play God of War. I can. I would play any of those on the Steam Deck if it works that way. Heck, I'd play them on the ROG Ally if the battery life was better. That's one thing, dudes. Okay, so I was playing for a long time and the battery drained. And so I plugged it in in, in like an hour. Now I'm using OEM, dude. OEM. The power adapter that came with the Steam Deck. One hour. That was like one game of horse and lunch. And I'm back, plugged in, good to go. Incredible. That, for me, I feel like makes me a better dad because I'm able to refresh, enjoy something, enjoy myself with a game, 
something that's productive in some ways, not, oh, I'm gonna go out and get some beers with the guys. That's what you do. Cool, that's what you do. I am present because I'm here. I can be seen. I am on because it's impossible for me not to. At a moment's notice, my kid could be like, dad, I wanna do this. And I can be like, boop, and I'm good to go. And I'm out of here. And I know we started off talking about the X screen. And again, I'll say it, one of my, if not my favorite products that exists for the Xbox, I'll just honestly say that I don't use it. And it, they were so generous to send me one because I said, hey, I'd love to use this on my trip and I wish I did use it more, but the Steam Deck just was so unbelievably good <laughs> at doing its job that I ended up only using it a couple times for Fortnite. And that was a cool experience being able to sit Everyone in the house was excited about it. Every single person was like, dude, that is so cool. And I was like, yeah, it is, isn't it? It is cool. My buddy's dad has started playing Diablo 4 again, and I'm gonna send him one of these, and he's going to use it, and he's gonna be stoked, because he's like, cool, my wife can watch her show, and I can sit next to her, and I have this on my lap, and I'm playing, and she's watching her show, and everyone's happy, rather than taking over the TV and playing Diablo 4. Pretty sick, right? Pretty cool. So, yeah, I just, I'm excited that I still am able to do this, still able to play video games. And I would not be able to do it if it wasn't for flexible location stuff. There's just no way. There is no way that I'd be able to sit in here and enjoy the gaming that I want to enjoy all the time, right? Rebirth is gonna take me forever because I'm just not gonna be able to sit here and play it the way I want to. But I am gonna put some time aside because that is the only game that I've been looking forward to this year. So I'm gonna give it some time. But there's nothing on the horizon for Xbox that I can't play on Steam Deck, there's nothing. Nintendo is out to lunch right now, they'll be back someday with something delicious and yummy for dinner, but we're not there yet. PlayStation, y'all know I like PlayStation. I just wish that PlayStation was better at releasing games more often. That is one complaint I have for them. This is all of the iced coffee I'm gonna drink because iced coffee has exponentially more caffeine than other coffees do, and so I'm not looking to ride into the sunset right now. Certainly not. I hope that you guys got something out of this. If anything, the only thing I want you to remember is that if you're a dad out there and you're hurting and you're having a hard time, I am too. We all are. That's what being a dad is. You take on the weight of the world so that your children can walk lightly. That's just the way we do it. And so know that we're out here. We're, we're always out here. We're out here doing it with smiles on our faces. Maybe not so many smiles. I like this lighting because it's dramatic. And people say it looks like your face is melting. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've looked back and I look old. And I'm sure I could do lighting that was more flattering, but my face is melting. I, I take care of kids. It's demanding. It's challenging. It's the only reason why I wake up though. And so just know dads out there, like what you're doing is truly the most magnificent workout out there, taking care of your kids. It's important. You don't babysit, you raise your children. Dads don't babysit. Huge, huge shout out to that. Dads don't babysit. And for those of you gamer dads out here, cause if you're watching this, you obviously play video games cause that's what we're about here. Keep doing it. You don't have to give it up. The only job that matters is raising your children. That does come with provision, which means that you might have to go out and make some money so that you can provide for your children. But because you want to sit at the end of your day and play, you know, 20 minutes before you inevitably drop the controller on your nose because you're passing out from such exhaustion from putting in a full day's work and taking care of your family. There's nothing wrong with that. It's chances are you've already served all of your responsibilities. I sure as heck hope so, because if you haven't, then there is the problem there. But that's its own bag of tricks, and you're all self-aware enough to understand what I'm coming from. Dad, you're doing good work. Keep doing it. Also, keep playing video games. Tomorrow... Oh no, today's the first day where the Discord is members only. So, uh, I still haven't set that up. Sometime this month. <laughs> Oh, yeah, April, I'm pushing it a month, April 1st, 
members only. If you want to join members, I always joke about this, but it's true. If you buy a mug, the play mug, $4 is about a cost of ground beef, and I'll go out and buy burgers for the family. If you join as a member, I get, because YouTube takes, I think, half, maybe 70%, 30%. Let's just, let's be nice. I get three bucks. If you join as a member, I get $3. And $3 is about enough to get like four apples. So every member, every month you buy me four apples. Delicious. And I love apples. I really do. So do kids. My kids, they love apples. Whew. Happy gaming.